Well, hello folks. So, uh, welcome back and uh, we're out again. It's Friday and the weather is uh, showery, but it's uh, the wind seems to have dropped, which is quite good. So we're here at the entrance to Cliggerhead and we're not going to look at Cliggerhead today, but the plan is we're going to walk around and we're going to see if we can get onto the coast path, which goes right next to the airfield. So, uh, Let's have a look, folks, and uh, see you in a bit. Oh, hello, folks. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, we've left the bike, and we're heading up now onto the very edge of the airfield. Uh, just a quick check, make sure the camera's working. It is, and uh, yeah, so we're going to try and bypass Cligger if we can, because obviously we don't want to go all down over the mine workings. We want to get straight on to the coast path that goes right along the edge of the cliff next to the airfield sorry a bit out of breath there but uh so first thing then just where i am here can't help noticing that uh, it's no surprise really we're in a heavily mined area not the explosive kind folks but uh just uh you know good old cornish mines so uh yeah well i'd just like to say uh I'm missing Colonel EXP today. Uh, he was hopefully going to come with me. So, uh, you know, I don't think he's feeling too well at the moment, but I uh, hope he's all, I hope he gets better soon. And uh, we're just going to keep going and uh, see what we can come up with. Well, the weather's improved anyway, and uh, it's actually looking quite nice up here. And I've got all my wet weather gear on, folks. But uh, hopefully I can take it off in a bit. But uh, yeah, just gonna have a quick yomp around. And you can, I don't know if you can see it just about in the distance there. That is the airfield, all of that over there. And uh, coming up to, uh, I think it's the remains of some mine workings. Oh, actually, there's a path going over there, folks. So uh, just gonna do a quick backtrack and follow this. Now this is a new bit. Uh, we did come up here when we did our video about click ahead, but that's not why we're here today. But uh, yeah, so this particular bit is new to me. I don't think I've, uh, I've been here. But, uh, like I said, what we're looking to do is to get on the coast path that is parallel with the airfield. And we're going to have a look and see if we can find this uh, anti-aircraft machine gun pit. So, no guarantees, mind, because that's what it's all about. I mean, I've never seen it before. And... I don't think anybody else has, maybe Darren, one of my uh, TWEX crew members. I think that was a long time ago, but we we'll just have to uh, have a look and see what we can find. But at the very least, we can have a cup of tea and enjoy a bit of uh, fresh air and countryside folks. Back in a bit. Folks, so we've got this... Uh, interesting uh, converted air raid shelter and uh, seen it before but just trying to uh, have a look at this oh, get up here wow plenty of uh, interesting graffiti there and I think this is an old EWS tank. Uh, emergency water supply because obviously there was a Wolfram mine here. Wolframite, sorry. And uh, this was a mine and also an explosive factory. So uh, this is a giant, what would have been a pool of water, which they could have uh, sucked dry to put out fires if necessary. And... Uh, 
pretty certain that's what it is anyway but it's quite interesting but uh, not what we're here for some more uh, remains of the gunpowder factory or the explosive factory and uh, I think it was something no yeah there's something nasty in there folks I hate that sort of shit somebody's drawn a pentagram on the wall so never good so moving on then going over uh, open land now but uh, onto a new bit of the path and got Cligger mine over there all the remains of the uh, explosive factory as well but, uh, so it's easy to get distracted folks so uh, we're just going to keep moving on uh, you can see the shape of the landscape and that's the cliffs there uh, I must say it's unusually calm today in the in in the, for sea conditions and uh yeah this is basically all uh what looks like old mine workings and wasteland and probably lots of naturally reoccur naturally occurring arsenic and all sorts of stuff here so uh that's what saved it i think but i'm just gonna take a little meander this way but basically somewhere up there you might be able to just about faintly make out the uh path along the top of the cliff there in the distance somewhere up there is where our uh, anti-aircraft machine gun pit is but uh obviously no guarantees we'll find it but we will have a look so uh back in a bit right then folks so uh come a bit further and uh I've just realized how far it is to go and uh, just thought I'd show you this cliff as well and uh, yeah so uh, weather's turning showery again so uh, I'm not quite sure what the best thing to do is today really uh, yeah so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is try and head up to higher ground but then uh, the path goes right the way along the top of the cliff there but uh, it's kind of a bit out of the way really I think so uh, yeah I'm gonna see if I can uh, get to some higher ground and uh, then we can, hopefully we can see what happens so just showing you this amazing view and there's a path that I've just walked down and uh, we're just gonna make our way over here to this uh, mine mine shaft and there's an alternative trail going up there I might have a stab at that and uh, see what it's like to get up uh, pretty rocky but I'm just taking it easy today folks because I'm on my own so uh, which is fine that's good and uh, yeah I think it's probably better if I make my way up this way and circle around yeah so we've been here before and it was covered on a previous video and hopefully the film quality is a lot better today because we've got much better conditions and uh no walkers beyond this point folks you've been told there we go no walkers but uh yeah i'm not sure if i can uh show you anything or see the pit of the abyss but there it is a whopping great mine shaft folks and uh, the headland is looking really nice today in the sun nice to see a bit of sun out and about isn't it? and uh, 
I'm surprised how far I've walked actually. I've walked quite a fair distance. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get up to the top of this hill. Uh, I'm gonna see how much further it is. And then I'll, uh, I'll make my mind up and decide what to do folks. I think it's the best thing. Oh, well I'm like a little oasis in the desert. I've come across this little bench. Uh, Perm Porth Aerodrome, it says on the little sign there, which is uh, what it's known now. Um, yes, I'm a bit out of breath, folks. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, just come up this uh, whopping hill there. And, uh, not that one, no, that's, that's a rather deep quarry there. But I've just come up this hill, and uh, it's, uh, it's a breathtaking view up here. The weather's kind of like, sorry that's my finger on the lens, uh, weather's kind of intermittent, uh, we've got sun one minute and kind of light showers the next, but uh, there's a trail going up this way folks, so I think we'll head up this way and I think this is taking us in uh, more of the right direction to the airfield and uh, you never know, there might be some uh, remains of uh, remote World War II buildings and stuff scattered around. But, uh, as I said, I think it's going to be an awful long trek heading around the coast where we really want to be following the perimeter of the airfield. So, uh, first bit over there is pretty much unavoidable really but uh, I'm hoping if I start heading up here now a bit or try this way then uh, I reckon I could uh, get back a bit closer to the airfield and uh, see if there's anything to look at folks so uh, I've come up the trail it is a path it's just not been used for a while but uh, yeah, basically another mine shaft, and I can see these concrete posts up here, and uh, it's looking like quite a deep one that one. And I'm not sure if you can see too well, but uh, you've got obviously there some interesting stone lining on the top of it there, and uh, I really don't want to go any further because there's another big uh, depression here in the ground. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make my way back to where the faint trail is. And I'm actually pretty much on the airfield now, which is quite impressive. And getting out of this long gorse and heather. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of led me along here. And you can see the control tower in the distance there. And uh, you've got the hangers, modern hangers, obviously. And uh, yeah, it's quite quite interesting. So uh, now I've no idea at the moment where this gun pit is. I'd say it's got to be that way somewhere. And, uh, you know, I can't imagine it'd be too off the beaten track. But uh, I'm going to see if I can cheat a little bit. And move up there and see if I can intercept the coast path again somewhere up there because it uh, saves a lot of mountainous hiking so uh, you never know we might find something else interesting obviously no idea at this stage but uh, yeah you never know Folks, so a uh, bit of a development, and I think I found a pillbox, and unfortunately, it's uh, this one is collapsed. Let me move that branch out of the way. The end of the the entrance there to it has collapsed. Obviously, not what I was expecting to find, but I know that there are four pillboxes in this area and uh, looks like we found one of them 
and it is ridiculously overgrown folks and you can see the roof of it here this dome roof and I think what was a bit of a giveaway as I was down there was this uh, this bit of concrete here folks oh wow look at that and not sure if you can see it there we've got just down there we've got uh, one of the uh, gun ports in the pillbox and I'm guessing the others say yeah it look actually it looks a hexagonal shape as well so uh, now obviously it would be nice to try and get in there but uh, can't really see it happening today folks so uh, just interesting to note where it is and I'm not sure if you can actually see anything in there it's just so overgrown folks but this is one of the pillboxes which means as well that we are also quite close to the location of the battle headquarters which is just up there somewhere so we found one of the pillboxes and I'm 99.9% .9 certain that that is a pillbox uh, it's pretty amazing so uh, I'm gonna see if I can uh, <coughs> one of the part of the original airfield defense is that one but I'm gonna see if I can find another trail or I might have to go back I'm not sure so just up ahead of us there we've got uh, a raised concrete base I'm guessing that was uh, once the footing for a, a large building and as you can see there weather's coming in again so uh, it's good news that we found this pillbox folks anyway this pillbox little mound there I don't know if you can see it that's all there is that's recognizable of it now but I wasn't sure but when I got close I was positive so uh, I think we're gonna go and have a cup of tea right so uh, weather's coming in again and uh, I think to be honest I'm not gonna go any further uh, I'll probably kick myself but maybe just go a bit further but apart from the pillbox which is well away from the coast path so far up here I haven't seen anything but uh, yeah travel walked a fair distance anyway so uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is uh, find somewhere for a cup of tea and uh, We'll have to come back here again another day and hopefully Kerno EXP will be able to uh, be with us and we might have more of a chance of finding it folks. So uh, we're going to find somewhere for a cup of tea in a moment. Oh folks, so something about this place. Uh, the last time we came up here it was absolutely murky and wet and horrible and we just had one of the biggest downpours uh, at the moment I seem okay not wet through but wet, definitely wet on the outside and uh, yeah out of breath because I've just been yomping literally from the top of that hill over there all the way along the coast path and uh, yep decided to beat the retreat folks and uh, I think this one is uh, maybe a bit too much for one person to try and find these gun pits but uh, we are going to be back folks we are not going to be defeated so we will find them they're out there somewhere along that headland and it's just going to be a case of uh, definitely the right weather conditions and two pairs of eyes possibly and uh, well definitely help and of course you know uh, better weather folks so uh, I'm going to see if I can get a cup of tea in in a minute but uh, as of yet there's nowhere to uh, sheltered enough to brew up so we're going to keep on walking Wow, we've got uh, lagoons, folks. That's uh, that wasn't like that earlier. So, just uh, shows how much rain we've had in a very short time. <laughs> so, uh, well, I think, yeah, I desperately need a cup of coffee, I think, and uh probably going to go in one of those old buildings over there or something I reckon go splash through there
yeah this way keep following the path and uh, I think today we'll just have to admit defeat folks the conditions and the distance was uh, a lot further than I estimated and I'm sure there's people out there who say oh yeah yeah well I, I, I could get there no problem you know but it is it's quite a walk folks and we've also got the uh, like I said the remains of the mine and the uh, Kligger mine and the explosives factory which uh, bits of it are everywhere folks uh, did I go down this way or no I think I'm just going to stick to the main drag for a minute and uh, cigarette folks helps to uh, revive the old body I know exactly where I am now I'm coming up to that uh, big wartime EWS and uh, yeah there's something something interesting down here I might have a quick nose up I don't think I've ever seen it before so uh, just gonna uh, have a quick look at this and then I'm gonna head to the tunnel there's a tunnel over there I'm gonna go in there and put the kettle on I think folks and uh, might even have some dinner as well at some point so, uh, coming up to this then sorry for shaky camera it is very very stony and rocky here wow look at that oh I don't know if you can see that folks but so that is a giant I think it's a buddle huge buddle and I think it was part of the mineral separating process and you can see if we walk over this way a little bit yeah, we've got controls for the sluice of it it's obviously water flowing in here and maybe some sort of pump here or motor for like a giant sort of boom or stirrer but it's pretty impressive and uh, even that graffiti is quite good actually yeah but uh, great well let's go and get, get the kettle on right then folks so uh just had a nice cup of coffee and been in that tunnel there and I've just had a lovely conversation to uh, a veteran believe it or not uh, yeah so uh, chap was in the army uh, he was in the uh, Royal Engineers which is great and look at that amazing waves over there I don't know if you can see it or not but uh, it's brilliant well uh, yeah so it's been a bit of a, a kind of like hit and miss day day really we, but we found the pillbox folks uh, that was a definite out of the blue one that one we weren't expecting to find that and uh, it's been a brilliant day anyway so a uh, bit damp but sun's out now I'm drying off nicely so uh, well hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I think we're gonna have to come back to this location again at some point and uh, we're gonna endeavor to try and find these machine gun pits and uh, hopefully <coughs> we'll have better luck next time and two pairs of eyes with Kerno EXP that should be good so uh, until the next time folks we'll uh, see you soon thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe <laughs>